Hey, it's Colin Yearwood from ColinYearwood.com. And in today's video, we'll be talking about actually answering this question. Is your online business a good fit for you? Right? Is your online business a good fit for you? So if you want to learn more about what I do, you can go over to ColinYearwood.com. Actually, I help employees transition to entrepreneurs, right? Um, that's the main thing that I focus on doing. And one of the things I run into is a lot of people are uh, actually have started businesses that it doesn't align with who they are, right? It's not a good fit for them. So I thought I'll talk about that on this video. If that's true, this is a good video for you to stay all the way to the end. I actually have a pretty cool resource to help you um, get some more clarity with that. But there's some things that happen, right? You know that, look, this may not be a good fit for me. I do, I do have this entrepreneur spirit, right? You, you feel that way. You, you're working uh, full-time, but you're still looking to do more. You feel there's more to your purpose. There's more why you're here. And you may have started an online business right off the bat. A, couple, a lot of people started online businesses just to make some extra money, which is nothing wrong with that, right? But there's a lot of things that we would do to make extra money that we wouldn't do to create a business around, right? Something that will allow us to leave our jobs or to create that kind of life that we, we're looking to uh, experience, right? So a lot of ways you figure out, over the, over time, you figure out this is not a good fit for me. Or, or a lot of people struggle with that because they're like, you know, I'm doing this for a long time. I'm having some results sometimes. Why should I quit it? But you have that nagging feeling that, this doesn't align with my core values, right? The, I, the, the things I have to do, it doesn't really align with who I am or who I want to be. And a lot of times that's the most important thing. It doesn't align with who you want to be, right? That's where a lot of people get caught up with, that they're doing things now that goes against who they are on the inside. And that's the sad part of it. They know that, right? They know that on the inside it's going against who you are. If you feel that way, look, you're, you're not alone. There's a lot of, I've been there years ago, a couple years ago, I've been there. Uh, but you have to push through that. Uh, another way you can figure out if your business is not a good fit for you is like if everything you have to do in the business is new to you. If all the skills that you have to learn is new, is the first time you're doing it. If you know that's a sign that that business may not be a good fit for you, especially if you're new at entrepreneurship. If you're new at starting a business, right? Um, and, and many people just join a business a lot of times to help their friends and family out. I know, especially in the network marketing direct sales space, a lot of people do that, and they feel stuck. They feel trapped. You know, you may you you may feel that you know, I can't leave because I'll be letting this person down, but still, you're not feeling fulfilled. You're letting you down, right? And you're figuring out this is not what I want to do. Yes, I want to I want to create a, a business of my own. I want to I want to leave my job and 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 do my own thing, but this is not what I want to do. Right. So if you're in that position, if that's how you are feeling, if, if you're, you have that anxiety around what you're currently doing, you don't feel that this is the direction you want to go, especially when it comes to building an online business, you can change it. Right. You can change it. And, and that's what actually I, I help a lot of people do. I've been helping a lot of people create a business that they enjoy, create a business that they're truly happy with. Right. And going from being an employee to an entrepreneur. And that's the exact path that I took. I've created a business that I'm happy with and, and that, that aligns with my vision and my goals and transition from being an employee to being an entrepreneur and pursuing my own thing. And that's what I teach people to do. And the cool thing about it is one of the things I find when I, when I work with people one-on-one -on -one is that most people are not focusing on their strengths. Most people are focusing on the things they're not good at. Right. And starting off a business with things, you know, with things you're not good at, you're putting a lot of challenges up there. So I, I, you know, I'm a firm believer in leveraging your strengths, leveraging the things you're good at and start from there and developing from there and working on the skills that you need to improve afterwards. And a lot of times you can find if you look at it closely. You can find that a lot of the, the skill set that you have and the strengths you currently have in your current job can transition well to an online business model, can transition well as you create your own business. But a lot of people can't see it. 
Because a lot of times you're so bogged down in your day-to-day -day duties at work, day-to-day -day duties in life, with your relationships, you know, trying to figure out this thing online. You can't see how, what do I do at work relates to what I want to create online. You know, that's where I come in, right? That's where I come in and I help my clients with, give them an objective uh, pair of eyes. And you'll be amazed when I sit down with people or I talk to people on Skype or on Zoom, you'll be amazed how quickly I'm able to identify these are some really cool strengths you have, but here's how they can align with what you want to do. And people are like, I don't see that. So a lot of times you need that second pair of eyes, someone to look in, peer into what you're doing to help you figure out, okay, this is a strength. And you know the other thing about that too is many times we have a strength and we totally take it for granted. Oh, that's no big deal. Oh, I, I've been doing that for years. That's how we kind of brush it off, right? But it becomes a big deal when you speak to someone who's realized, well, I'm horrible at that. That's a really, that's a real talent, a skill, a strength you have there that you can leverage. And that's where the outside pair of eyes come in. The other thing you want to do is develop, you have to work on developing a business that aligns with your values and your future goals. And there are several ways you can do that. You know, a lot of people start from the point of view of just, I just want to make some extra money. Which, of course, you want to be in business to be profitable. But if you're more strategic about it, and if you're thinking long term, if you're thinking about, I want to create a business that allows me to leave my job and do this full time, to be at home with my kids, to have more freedom to travel, to do whatever it is that you desire to do, you have to be more strategic and think about the process. Think about the process. And think about the values, the core values that you would like that business to be aligned with. Right? Now, you can do some of these things we talk about here so far, right? And start developing that clear, that clear focus on that new business. Or you can do like what everyone else does. Or you can do like what most people do. Keep buying courses. Keep jumping from idea to idea, hoping that something sticks. That's not a plan. I'm guilty of that. I've, I've, I've bought thousands of dollars in courses hoping to, to figure something out. But you don't have to do that, right? You don't have to, to be jumping from idea to idea, from product to product. A couple things you can do to make that happen. One is spend some time really dialing in on what is it you really want out of your life. What is it you really want out of your life one year from now, five years from now, 12 years from now? How, how do you envision your life look? You know, how would you envision your life looking at? You know, a lot of people don't want to do that because it's scary and they, and they don't have the belief it's possible. Or they don't give you, you don't give yourself permission to, to uh, you don't give yourself permission to grow, permission to dream. Give yourself permission to dream. What do you want your life to look like in five years? Be detailed. And that's one of the first part of this process you can, where you can start, right? Is figuring out where you want your life to be. Now, that's one of the things I actually help people do um, is figure out that journey. Help them figure out what it, when they figure out, when you figure out where you want to be one year from now, five years from now, then we can talk about how to get there. You know, how we can... How we can create a plan, and I share with you how you can create a plan, open your mind to the possibilities that where you can go, what you, how you can accomplish that, how you can stay focused and, and create that particular business that you want to create to accomplish your dreams. Look, if you want to create that business of your dreams, right, and not have that icky feeling of, am I doing the right thing? This doesn't feel right to me. Sign up for a breakthrough call with me. It's, the link is down below in the description and also in the comments. Um, sign up for a breakthrough call. It's a 30-minute call. The good ones go a little bit longer. The real good ones go a little bit longer, right? And on that call, what is, what's going to happen? What's happened for many people I've done these calls with? These, you get out of that call with some clarity. You become clear as to what direction you want to go in and what's the next step for you. It becomes more logical pattern of how you can make this happen, right? Um, you also are able to identify what is the skills that I could use and leverage? How can I use what particular skills I'm good at 
to create this online business? What are my strengths? Look, if you're not good at talking on the phone, why start there? I definitely recommend you learn that skill set, but you don't have to start there. If you're not good at graphic design, why start there? So those are the things I help you figure out and create that path to make it simpler. simpler. Gives you more clarity. That's it. So click on the link in the description in, uh, in the description, or click on the link in the comment below and schedule that your one-on-one -on -one breakthrough call with me. I'm also going to give you a bonus worksheet. I like the name of it. It's called the Perfect Business Worksheet. It's a worksheet that helps you through this process also. It helps you identify the things you're good at, identify the things that you're, you're doing well and you're strong at. So click the link below, get on a breakthrough call with me. I'd love to talk to you and walk you through, through this process and give you some more clarity as to how to create a business that is more aligned with who you are, your values, your goals, your dreams, your future.